Now, how we are going to read this particular question? Let us go with the last line of the question first. What is the most likely explanation? Now, in this particular question, we have got an image. So, if you have got an image and if you are able to identify what this image is all about, so we all can understand that this image is extradural hematoma, right? Because it is a hyperdense convex shadow what we are able to see. Now, let's take a look at the options. And in the options, the story is quite clear cut. I have not read the question, I have just read the last line of the question in the image and my answer is epidural hematoma. So, I would not be facing any problem in this particular question. So, the answer will be epidural hematoma. Now, let us, let me quickly take a look so that I am not missing out on anything. This is a 18 year old punched side of the head at the start of a night out. He feels okay and he continued to enjoy the rest of his night. The following morning he is found by a friend making incomprehensible sounds. Now the story in this question is quite clear cut that this patient had some injury few hours before he developed deterioration in the consciousness level. That means after a blow the patient was absolutely fine but next morning his consciousness levels or maybe his GCS started going down. So probably this is a case of lucid interval. So in this particular question, he has simply mentioned what is lucid interval and now he is asking lucid interval is seen in. So the answer is quite clear cut. It is epidural or extradural hematoma, right? So we had got two ways to answer this question, either looking at the image directly or reading the question. Now, what is the difference on 31st of August exam? Because of these lengths, this creates a disturbance. And because of which, if we find a series of these type of questions, we are not able to maintain our focus. We are not able to give the same concentration in all the 150 questions. So that is what we have to learn. That is what we have to build up. Earlier, if you look at the 2019-2018 questions, they would have simply asked lucid interval is seen and the answer would have been epidural hematoma. Right? So this is how we have to just be more vigilant. Okay, let's take a look about the different types of hematomas here. As we know that uh, extra dural is a convex hyperdense, but subdural is a concave hyperdense. The extra dural hematoma is limited by the suture line while the subdural hematomas or maybe the scalp hematomas are not limited by the suture line. If we take a look at this particular picture here, out of the different hematomas seen, majority of these hematomas, majority of these hematomas are subdural hematomas. So the most common hematoma, if nothing has been mentioned in the question, will be a subdural hematoma, which is called a boxes hematoma due to tearing of bridging cortical veins. While the extradural hematoma most often seen on the temporoparietal region due to injury to middle meningeal artery, arterial blade. Okay. So extradural, arterial, subdural, venous. And there can be intracerebral hematomas as well. 